Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes. Oh, sir. okay. Good. Okay. See, in the last class, what we have learned, we have learned how to draw pi, how to draw lines and bars. Okay. And in the class, I have told you that I will I will be sending you a data file, and from that data file, you have to make a bar chart for most uh, that should represent most popular languages isn't so yes sir, yes, sir. okay uh, so uh, i will be starting with that only i will show you how to do that because i didn't show you that uh, how to read data what i uh, what i showed you was that okay this thing no is this I showed you this thing now. Yeah, yeah. This was the uh, this was the last uh, this was the last thing that okay. I showed you. Yeah, that I showed you in the uh, class. You have to do this. And here, what have we have created? We have created a list here only, and we have drawn a bar on that list. Now, instead of doing that, what I want to, I want to import data from csv file just like we were doing in pandas okay so we can do here also and after importing we can we can draw we can plot line we can um, plot bar graph we can plot any other uh, suppose we can plot pie chart from that data that we have imported as a csv file now uh, here i will tell you how to import that file <coughs> okay, I'll start with from there. No popular language. I have got okay this one here. Now I made. I have shown you the, uh, to do your own, but you didn't do that. So I will show how to do this. First thing you have to do. What you have to do? Whenever you use matplot, what you have to do? Himani. Yes, sir. We have to import it, sir, from matplotlib. We have to import pyplot. Import pyplot. Okay. Yes. Good. Now, I want to read a file. What I want to do? I want to read a CSV file. How I was doing uh, in uh, what is that known as in Pandas? I was reading the file. How? What function I was using to read CSV file? So read read under under Listen, we have different we have different methods to read a file. This is one of the simplest method we can use pandas. Okay, this is the simplest and this is the quickest. We get the data. We can create a uh, module of CSV and import that file. Is but usually we use this thing. Okay, so in order to import a file, we have to what we have to uh, do. We have to import a file as a data frame. And for that, we have to also import what we have to import. We have to also import pandas Panda. as pd. Okay. Is it is it okay? Now, from that, suppose I will get data equal to what I will write pd dot read csv. And after that CSV, I will pass the path uh, of that. What is the path of that? Okay, I have here simply data CSV. Pass the path. Okay, just like you are doing in Pandas, you have to import the file as simple as that. Okay, you you you. You can check uh, what is in data. How can you check that? Tell me. If you see, you can see like this also. See, there are only two columns. What is that column known as? 
respondent id and language worked with what was my question so uh, we had to find the most popular language yeah we had to uh, we had to find the most popular language using what we had to use we ha we had to use bar chart bar for chart. that yeah bar we have yeah yes. we have we have to use bar chart for uh, seeing the most popular language now in order to find the most popular language we have i have given you a data and how i have already shared with you that is we have respondent id and languages worked in that okay it should now see till now you are clear you are importing if i want to access the series first column what i have to use if i have to access the data frame or data frame is first column first what will be the first column let it be ids ids what will be that first column will be i have two columns see sir i have sir. two i i sir, have two. under id i have two columns one is one is uh, yeah it is a responsible id how, how can i access that i will simply write sir, data data square and, bracket yes sir. and within that i will write See, I am telling you, you do, do by your own. Okay, is it okay? Respond. Spelling, is it okay? Spelling. Okay, let me check that. It is here. It is here. Okay, it is. I have to use this. I'll copy this. see i will paste it here and from here i will cut this and i will paste it here now second thing what will be the second thing languages and that language is worked okay equal to data of this thing see are you clear till that this thing you already know this thing how to access the series how to access the columns from the data frame you already know these things okay now my question is to explore or to find the most popular language among these languages any idea what can i do to find this any idea himani Sir, we have to count how many times a particular language is occurring. Maybe that then we can do that, sir. Good. So, any idea how we can do count? We can keep some counter here uh, that will check uh, how many languages we have, and the uh, one with the largest numbers will be the popular one, isn't so? We have to do yes, something. Sir. We have to do something like this. Uh, usually, what we do, we keep a count. We keep a count variable for that. Isn't so? To count yes, the uh, yeah, uh, that will be from uh, which column? That will be from languages worked with the column. Isn't so? No, but uh, we can we can keep a counter or we can make a list of languages and we can count the languages in that and we can add that to the counter. But this is uh, usually uh, done more often. So Python has a beautiful thing to. For counters, okay. We have a we have a class here called counter, which keeps this count. We have inbuilt class that is known as counter. What is that known as? Counter that counter. keeps yeah that keeps by default takes. I will show you okay. I will show you how it works. Then I will go further. 
okay i can go uh, here i will uh, uh, write python and this class is in the module collections from see from collections we'll say import 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 u u n t r counter okay error error okay sorry this class this class name okay after that see if i will create an object of this class counter here see and i will pass an argument if i will pass an argument as a list i will pass okay i will pass argument as a list of languages suppose i will pass uh, python and comma i will pass c plus plus suppose i will pass this as an argument to the counter constructor here c is it okay now if you will check what will be the value of c c what will be the value of c we returned uh, it returned a dictionary that contains key and value pairs key is a python and for python we have one value and um, uh, for c++ we have a value one for key c++ we have a value one see what is this value one this value one specifies how many times it has seen this python how many times it has seen since this is the first time it has seen python so it is giving a it is python is value one see uh, if i want to update this see update what i will do and uh, i am updating the counter and uh, i am telling the counter suppose i will give the value again i will give python python and i will give a value java suppose if it has now i will if you will check the value in counter see see you got my point what counter does how it works yes sir you see uh, if you if you uh, update it again and you will give here see this is the way Uh, how python keeps count of the things you can give anything uh, within this even we use these things in nlp problems also we use mostly we use counter there to keep the count of sentences if you have to uh, uh, map the data or something like that getting my point what is counter doing here yes, what is count yeah counter is uh, only it uh, Uh, it is taking that value into account it is it sees how many times it has seen this language how many times it has seen c any value it can be any value it is not the language it can be any value how many times it has seen this value okay counter works like this so we can use in our in our problem we can use counter simply so how can we use the counter first of all we have to in and we have to create a variable of counter class object of counter class isn't so just like we did uh, i showed you so i will uh, write counter equal to at here what will i do i will what i will do i will uh, use without this arguments okay but first of all what i have to import i have to import the collections from collections i have to import counter uh from collections import counter c c is capital because it is a class follow me yes sir yeah now uh, now see i have created a variable for counter and after that what i have to do 
tell me if anyone can tell me what will be the value of this if i will print if i will print language work what will be the value of that see we got this isn't so yes sir we got we got this thing we got this thing we got this thing the next thing we what we had to do logically uh, if i will tell you what we had to do contain some sub substring yeah we uh, yeah something like that we have to use see uh, i have got this uh, as a line as a, in the list okay actually this is a series i am getting okay now <coughs> now see um, in first sentence you will see what is the value of now and now you can see I, I, one more give me a moment. I will keep this mobile silent. In Sunday, everybody is disturbing. See, <coughs> now the second thing is that I want to split these languages. One is Python, one is JavaScript, and then I will make list of these things. Isn't so? From every line, from every line, I will split this thing. You getting my point? Yes, sir. That means I have to iterate. I have to iterate through every line. So I will. What I will use here? I will use uh, for loop here, and I will write for respond uh, response. Suppose I will give it some variable response, and let me give i. Why to give response? Okay. In where I have to languages worked. Okay. After that, what I have to give? Before this, tell me one thing. I will show one thing. After applying this, because you will, you are getting confused. So tell me one thing. Uh, what I have to do with this? I want to split this thing, isn't so? So what function I will use for that? What function I will use for that? So dot split. Split, sir. Dot split. Uh, uh, dot split. Isn't so? So yes, I will. I, I, I. You know how split works. You know, or I have to show here. Tell me. See, I will. Language work dot split. And uh, if we don't give any argument within the split function, it will split on the basis of space. Space. And if we give an argument, suppose I want to, uh, I want to split on the basis of this thing. What is this? In C, we say this end of statement. Colon. This one isn't so. We want to split on this basis. You see, you will get an error. Why? You, you can tell me you will get an error here, but see, it is saying that actually, what is this? This is a series, isn't it? This is a series. We don't have a split function for series. We have a split function for strings. So what we will do here? We will simply do uh, what we will do here. Okay, I can uh, convert this into a string for your uh, show you how it works. We don't need to convert, but I need to show you how it works. Now, it is okay. Now, what I have to, okay, suppose X, I have to, now I can control Z. After that, yeah, int int x.
one minute one minute is it are you getting see see it has been separated isn't so see are you okay now you know how it works so what i will do i will uh, instead of doing this thing i will do one thing i will loop through every set ring here see what i will do right for i in language worked and after that i can view i can update the counter okay what will do oh, yeah i will update the counter language is worked what is that counter dot update and after that i dot split and after that you see what will happen see what i am doing int counter okay, i am showing you each and every step what is going with what step see We are doing something somewhere wrong. You getting my what I am trying to do? Yes, sir. So, but I am uh, I am getting something wrong. Or it is okay. Tell me, two ninety one. For some one language, seventy four, thirty, but value should be more than that. Then let me check that value. Yeah, it can be more than that. That means I'm doing. What is I'm no. Uh, are you getting the same output? Please let me know. Yeah. language is worked with okay we got that and after that i have initiated this good for us uh, same thing i'm doing what here also i'm doing the same thing you see what i'm doing i am doing i am um, what uh, i have created initiated an object for this good let me delete this and after this what i am doing i am creating a class i am doing good mm, data is okay 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 sorry sir i am i am i don't need to convert this into string here this is the uh, this is creating the problem okay you can see see now it is okay okay uh, i need to i need to show you so i converted that in string how string works but i don't need to convert this into a string here is it okay yes sir yeah, see see now uh, what i got i got the values for javascript the, uh, this is the count and for html css this is the count sql css this is the count for python this is the count and for java this is the count Okay. Now, after that, what I have to do? Anybody? Now I have I have got a dictionary like this. See, I have got a dictionary in which we have JavaScript, and we have <coughs> what I have. I have JavaScript as a key and count as a value. 
any idea any idea if you have programming skill you can simply say sir uh, what i can do here i can do i can what i have to make i have to make a relation between jar uh, programming languages and the count isn't so that means what i have to do i have to do i have to make two lists one is for javascript and another is for the count getting my point yes sir so where from we get that values we will get that values from this uh, dictionary that we obtain it through this counter okay sir you getting my point yes sir so uh, so now i have to create two lists one is for languages i will write languages <coughs> and for languages see this is simple pre processing we are doing on the data actually in the final what we have to, what we need we need two lists okay the the thing we did here was simple pre processing so it is languages and second we need how popular it is popular count so the s now are you okay yes sir okay now what i have to do usually write this it looks good if you like uh, like this now now i have to add in languages i have to add languages and in uh, popular count i have to uh, add this value so what will i do i will i trade to this counter i will iterate through this counter and will insert elements into and popular count i will iterate through this dictionary simply you can say but i will say for x in suppose this is the i am doing programming so don't write these names for item in in uh, what encounter okay. okay what we have to add to we have to add items in languages and popular count list how to how to add elements to the list any function is used there Just dot append okay good dot append हम यूज करेंगे और व्हाट वी हैव टू यूज आइटम सी व्हाट इट विल टेक इट विल टेक टू वैल्यूज आइटम विल टेक टू वैल्यूज इन द फर्स्ट गो इट विल टेक जावा स्क्रिप्ट एंड इट इज वैल्यू सो हियर व्हाट वी हैव टू ऐड आइटम एंड या वी हैव टू जीरो एंड पॉपुलर साउंड डॉट एपेंड what we have to add item and we have to add one here is it okay now you can check you can check the value for languages and suppose 0 to 4 we can check now what is it showing it is a function on a where giving and do as romans do nobody is saying sir it is a function and we are doing Mm, string index is out of range. Where? 
ओके 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 विल डू वन थिंग दिस एरर कम्स बिकॉज़ वी हैव लार्ज वैल्यूज इन द 14th इट इज लैंग्वेजेस डॉट अपेंड इज इट एल एन जी यू ए जी एस डॉट अपेंड ओके जीरो एंड व्हिच इज दिस इट इज 14th लाइन इज दिस वन but it should work it is not an item is there item in case counter see instead of this i can i can check for uh, subset of languages see uh, i have uh, i think in my data set uh, you see there there are uh, i think it are 20 25 languages are there in the data set okay so i can i can do one thing i can check on 15 or 14 languages for that what i can do i have a function is here in the counter that is known as dot most common i will check whether it work on that that's 15 suppose and there are okay good now what was happening it was it was coming up out of uh, range value so what i have done here i have used a function that is known as most common that means it will take only how many languages it will take it will take only 15 languages and that two which will be the most common languages this is the inbuilt function in the counter, uh, this counter and how it works can anybody tell me how most common function works logically tell me you don't need to himani how yes, can, sir how how it, it uh, works most common in your how it works any idea logically you can sir, tell sir uh, how can out how, of 15 uh, those those 15 he, it will uh, see the most common uh, means out of all languages it will select the 15 most common languages sir on what basis it will select that sir uh, on uh, those are occurring uh, more uh, yeah yeah that that have, yes, yeah sir. yeah that have value uh, more that yes sir that that uh, language will be taken that whose value will be more okay we have an attribute for uh, counter here that is known as most common so see now it works now we have a list now we have a list we have a list for language and we have a list for c values also now you can plot the graph you can plot the graph see now we have a list for values or you getting my point what i, I am trying to say, uh, tell you yes sir see, yes see see now i have a list for both this was the pre processing that we did okay now we have list for both we can plot a uh, graph now yes then, sir uh please you plot now and let me know how it works everybody oh, okay, sir yes sir yes sir doing sir this was a little bit pre processing that i did on okay. the data okay okay, okay. Uh, actually actually you have to do something like this i i was wrong that this is a little bit tap question so i thought i will discuss with you okay you have to do some pre processing in order to every data you have to do some pre processing now what i will use simply i will write simple plot dot bar and for bar what i will use language is comma now after that we'll write plant dot show and see what will happen here 
plot uh, uh, what is that known as sir uh, import by plot as plt you have to write sir no 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 i have i have written that okay I, that no, is no, that okay as as aliasing i have not done okay sorry see java is the most popular language now one thing i want here it is showing java is the most popular language you can change the title you can change everything but the one thing i want to say here see i am what i am getting here java and i have a huge data so i think this will be not feasible to do vertically like this so there is an another option for us that we do horizontally for this type of data we can do horizontally okay so instead of bar we write here bar h see getting java script is the highest no yes sir got it sir yeah uh, now i want to one thing uh, to tell you one thing because you whenever you see this screen you will see this plot you will say that java script is popular but it comes in the last i want this should come in the above getting my point so that when uh, yes sir uh, is there any idea what can i do so that it will come in the above any idea logic sir, idea. maybe we have yeah, sir, yeah maybe we have to inverse inverse invert the axis sir no if we we'll, uh, himani is telling this thing yes sir okay uh, Tanvi Bansal, tell me, any idea? So uh, we need sorting, right? Hmm. Sorting of which? Sorting of the uh, that uh, values so that uh, maximum will come at first. Good. So there, what can I do for for that? Do not sure, sir. Okay, now your idea is logically you are okay. You are trying it is okay. We can do that. For that, see. I have 22 lists, isn't so? Which list? One is languages and popular count. Simply I will do, I will reverse the elements of the list. And I will reverse the element of this one popular count dot reverse okay now you check okay So can you please close that uh, screen? We can see the code. This pre-processing you have to apply to every data. Whenever you get a data as a CSV file, these things you have to do. Okay, you have to you have to make a list so that you can plot them. You please uh, do one thing, you change the title and uh, how you do that. The only thing you have to do here in order to change the title, what you have to do? PLT dot title. title or label. Yeah, yeah, you do make that title and write down that. You got the code? Yes, you, under sir. you understood what was uh, going here? Yes, sir. 
till yes. till here what i am doing i am till here i am just trying to prepare my data okay okay sir. in order to create the lists This are not, there can be any logic. You can use any logic to do this thing. This is not that I am telling you do like this. There is another thing you can instead of a, this counter, you can use your own counter. But uh, this is the beauty of the Python. So we uh, we can use this. See, are you done with this? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, see, I have I have shared uh, that. I think something with you that slice and. Okay, next I uh, next I will be discussing about pie charts. Have you, do you know what is a pie chart? See, Google. It will be round like a pie. A pie chart. So. Okay. This is a pie chart. See, this is a pie chart. This is a pie chart. You see, here there are different colors for each section. One color, second, third, fourth. What are these known as? These are known as slices. What are these known as? Slices. Ah, this is known as slices. Okay. So if we have to create a simple pie chart, what do we have to we have to pass? A list in which we have used the value of these slices to have function pi. We have a function pi for this. Okay, so we'll try that. Prem, have you done with this? Okay, leave. This is not your. Own. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, now I will create new file. I will give pi dot event. I have shared with that that uh, if I remember it. First thing I will write from is that from mat float lib import i plot as plt I forgot to do. Okay. Now see, I have shared. I have to make a. What I have to make? I have to make slices. Within the pie, there are slices. So that I, I will name simply. I will write slices equal to list something. Mm, suppose forty comma sixty. Suppose. Is it okay? Now, in order to plot this, what I will do? I will write plot uh, pie. Is there? Yeah. I is there, and after that I will slices. Okay, and plt simple. First of all, I will show you the simple one. I will see what will this. See, simple. We got a pie chart for this. We simply pass a. Following? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Himani, Tanvi. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Now, see, uh, I have I have made a pie chart here, but I don't know which slice specifies what. Isn't so? So, what I can I do? I can pass labels as a list. I can pass that. Second argument to that, just like we use it in bar. So I will make here, suppose I will make here a list of labels. I will say 40, and I will say 60. Sorry. Any name you can give. And here I will pass an argument labels. 
equal to labels just like we do in you see see now see here this is an edge this is the boundary between this slice and this slice if i want to change the color of this we have a here we have a property that is known as wedge color that is known as wedge color we will pass this as a dictionary wedge wedge props okay and after that i will give i pass it as a dictionary I will give this color, this color, and here I will give color. I can give color as a black, and I I can give it as you can write B also. We'll see whether it will work or not. Or you can give hexadecimal. You see, blue. Sorry, uh, black B is for blue. I have shown you uh, in the last class. Okay, yes, sir. The co color differentiation, yes, sir. Yeah, yeah. You got the color differentiation. B is for blue. Okay, here you can give also uh, that. What was that value? Hex value. <laughs> okay, this is the color for. Gray. Now, if you want to give the title to this thing, what do you write? You'll write PLT, same, dot title, same thing. And uh, in the title, you pass I chart. Suppose anything you can give. See. Is it okay? Yes, yes sir. sir. Now, see, I have I have shared the data with you that the two lists. You please run pie chart on that and let me know if you can draw pie chart on that also. That I have shared today only with you. Yes, sir. Yes. Show me that. Can you give me that list also? Okay, I will. I have that. Why are I in my WhatsApp? Prem, tell me the uh, list elements. Prem, how many elements are there in the list? Okay, okay, you draw, then I will let you know. Okay, draw. Okay. Okay. The two lists are responded and uh, language worked with. No, I am telling you, you do, you draw okay, a pie, okay, pie okay, chart. Okay, okay. How, my, how many elements are there in that? Two elements, sir. Two elements? I am saying in the list, how many elements are there? It is the, the 20, I think so. Okay, the total number. Okay, okay. okay sir. Total number of elements in the yes, list. Sir. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Okay, you you do okay. that and okay. make draw the pie chart and let me know. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, Tanya, is it okay? Tanvi, sorry. Yes, sir. Okay, you you have that list with you? Yes. Uh -huh. oh. Okay, then make. Sir, is it data dot csv file, sir? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That I was sent. The data okay. that no 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 that is not data dot csv file sorry you, you don't have to you have to do the pre-process 
Uh, so, oh, the, the process, just now we yeah, did. Yeah, you don't need. Uh, simply, you I have uh, shared with someone. Uh, I think with Prem I have shared or with that uh, Himani. That list, two lists I have shared. Himani, you see. Yes, sir. Done. Yes, sir. Yeah. Sir, Prem is quoted in group, sir. Yes, sir. Oh, okay. good, 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 good. You uh, do that. Not uh, we don't have to do pre-processing. Now you do know how to do pre-processing. That is not a big deal. Okay, Where, wherever you are to do this thing, use this. You can use this code for that pre-processing. Little bit change you can do. Jagjit Kaur, have you got yes, that? Sir. Have you got yes, that? Sir. Done, sir. Done. Yes, sir. Anybody can, uh, but uh, you can't share, na? So please send me one that pie chart. Okay, sir. Sir, I have also done, sir. Good, good. I want to say you something, na? That is the reason I am telling you to <coughs> Tanvi. Sir, how you done? Sir, actually, uh, you I are not on. You are not. The... You are not on the system laptop, isn't so? Yes, sir. <laughs> See, I was knowing that. Yes, Have you shared with me that? Anyone, Jagjit, Himani? Yes, sir, I shared. Sir, I shared. Oh, okay, yeah, I saw that. See, uh, you see here, you cannot even, even you cannot uh, clearly see what is the percentage of this other, what is the percentage of Go language, what is the percentage of assembly language. Is it so? It becomes, is, if you will make pie chart like this, it becomes difficult to analyze data. See here. Isn't so? So the thing is, the thing is, I want to tell you only one thing. When you have to do pie chart, uh, do pie charting on the data, uh, on the list that does contains less than five elements or five elements. Not more than that. For more than that, go for bar. Okay. Okay, sir. I want to tell you this thing that uh, if you if you have a data and if you are list and you'll have to make a analyze the data from how much percent this is getting, how much now best thing is to make a bar chart from that. If you have, what you have? If you have more than five items in that list. Pie chart suit is best for, um, at most for five elements, I can say. Okay. Now, uh, I want to tell you that thing only, that uh, if you have such list, big list, don't uh, do this. Okay. Now, there are other arguments. Uh, suppose uh, you you lessen the number of elements, please. You do one thing, as and tell me the values you have used. Slice equal to. Okay, I have the word in the words of that. Five nine. Oh, one nine. Website five five four six and after that four seven five four four and after that you have three six four four three and after that one minute after that you have slices and labels I will write and checking your own works of this thing for labels and for labels I will put Java 
at JavaScript, comma, and after that, I will put HTML. And after that, I will put C++, suppose. And after that, I'm randomly doing this. See, this can be different from your Spark chat, OK? I am trying to see which language is less. See. So I will generate by. It can be added. Uh, label must be of length x. Three, four, five, one, two, three, four. OK. Label must be of a length x. What is this one, two, three, four? Okay, and uh, what is it? One, two, three, four, sir. Uh, sir, delete. The I, got second one, sir. I got it. Yes. I got it. See, now uh, I got this pie chart. Now, there are uh, there uh, there are other options. There are other options uh, in this argument. Suppose I made a pie chart like this. See, I made a pie chart like this, and I, what I want to I want here. I want to give the I want to give the percent here. Which percent of HTML it occupies? Which percent of C plus plus it occupies? Which percent of C it occupies are? Which percent of JS it are occupies? I want to know that all. So. You must have seen that uh, pie chart also that shows the percent written here, the percent written here, the percent written here, the percent written here. For that, we have an argument in the pipe function. That argument is known as write down. That argument is known as R2 percent. What is that known as? You chuck R2 percent equal to, and this is a format for percentage this is format string we give percent one dot okay percent one dot one f you have to write this every time you have you will use this okay two times i have to give the percent yes you run it and see whether it will show or i will show you one thing see is it okay? Yes, I got it. Sir. Yes, sir. Oh, yeah, if you want to write the percent within the pie chart. Now, the, uh, suppose you want to give, see, I run that. Suppose you want to give uh, some emphasis to C++ language or some emphasis to JavaScript. You want to give emphasis because it's a, it is showing this is most this is most popular language. So I want to give emphasis on this JavaScript. Okay, so how can I do that? There is a there is an argument in pi function that argument is known as explode. What is that known as? Explode. There is an argument that is known as explode. See, uh, if I write here, ex explode. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Don't. Exp explode equal. To. And for explode, what you have to do? You have to uh, pass a list here. What you have to pass a list here, and to which you have to give the emphasis we have to change that value by default all has value zero suppose for j it is uh, we have to change the value for uh, what we have to change the value for javascript we all have value zero as an export load value that means html has uh, zero value js has uh, zero value c plus plus has zero value and c c has zero value i want to change that suppose i want to keep 0 0.1 0.1 or uh, JavaScript. Okay, what does this mean? I will tell you later about it. 
rest all has zero. You have to do that like this. You see, and then see. Okay, I have to give the comma here. You see what has happened. Getting my point? You are giving an emphasis yes, to this. Sir. Yeah. What is this? Yes, sir. What is this? Uh, I have changed this explode value. This is uh, this is actually the distance from the radius. This is, is the radius. The center. This is center. Okay. The distance from the uh, this is the radius. Okay. This is the radius. Zero point one is the radius. Every other has zero radius. Isn't so? Getting what is this? I am changing here. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes. Ah, uh, you can you can pass it here also. You can write uh, explode. Explod. You can write explode equal, and you can give list here. Point one, zero, zero point zero, and here you can. Simply give the name. Explode. Okay. This is another way you can do that. Also, stop run and. Okay. Same thing. Yes. Sir. <laughs> okay. There are other arguments. Suppose if you want to change the angle, I can write and start angle is there, okay? And I will give the value for that angle. Suppose I will change, uh, want to change angle as 90. See, now orientation has changed. See, starting, uh, uh, what is the start? Start is JavaScript. See, it is orientation has changed. Isn't so? Yes, sir. Yeah, there are different arguments. Suppose we have argument shadow or something like that. Yes, shadow and for shadow we can have only two values. It can be either true or false. Do write the true and see what will be the effect. See, okay. Yes, yeah, sir. Got it. Now, now you sir, now, uh, sir, uh, one minute, sir. I'm getting explored must be of length x error, sir. What are you uh, writing? Explored must be of length x. That's okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You have uh, what you have to uh, you have to do. You have to uh, see. I have told you. You have to give the values as the both lists containers as uh, slices and labels. Slices. Okay. How how much element slices containers? X is X is here the slices. How much element slices contain is? Uh, one second, sir. Uh, or you 15, can say fifteen elements, sir. Oh, okay. Or you can say that means for explode you have to give the fifteen values. See, yeah, that means you you are not you don't got my point. The, I want to say you one thing. This js is for this point one is value for js. This h zero is for HTML. C plus plus another zero for C another zero. We want to emphasis only js here. Okay. Okay. So okay. so number of this thing and this thing should be same values. Number of element is in this. All of the threes must be same. Okay, sir. So if it 15 elements means I have to give 15. Uh, zero. 14. Okay. You have to give 14 zeros and for one, you, you one, want to emphasize. Okay. You have to give point 0.1. Uh, I have told you already. I have told you already one thing. Don't use pie charts for more than five values. Okay, sir. Okay. Uh, if you have to use for more than five values, use bar for that. Bar charts. Okay. Okay, sir. You can check. You can you can check this error. If you 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 give zeros fourteen and point one one. There is okay. Yes, sir. Trying, sir. Okay, you do and let me know. Uh, okay, and now.
Anybody has error uh, till now? No, sir. Prem, you are done with that. No, sir. Still processing, sir. Malab, you are having, having some error. No, sir. No, 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 no errors, sir. <coughs> okay, okay, do.